your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Special thanks to all the viewers who have sent in photos to my Facebook page, John Scalzi, ABC7. I'm trying to get as many of them on the air as possible. Today I'm featuring this one from Jan Kathy Pritchard. It's a siesta sunrise. I'm told Jan is a faithful fan of the Sunrise Show and uh, particularly likes our Florida sunrises, and I couldn't agree more. I think sunrises are perhaps even more pretty than sunsets here in Florida. Thank you, Jan, for sending this one in. Our current conditions outside are steamy, 80 degrees already at this time of the morning with a dew point value of 75, making it feel really sticky outside. We don't have any rain showers, and we will have lots of sunshine as we see sunrise. Calm winds right now will shift westerly this afternoon, and uh, we'll stay that way right straight through the afternoon. We have a few scattered showers well down to our south. None of them threaten the sun coast. And as we head into the mid-morning hours, we have only a slight chance at seeing any of those showers develop along our coastline. This tan color that you see here, that's dry air. And it is filtering in across the center part of the state of Florida, reducing our rainfall chances once again today. So we'll have plenty of steamy weather out there, but only minimal rain chances. Gert, one of the reasons for that, a uh, strong hurricane becoming even stronger. Potential here exists for a category 200 mile per hour wind storm with this system as it moves out into the open waters of the Atlantic. Really of no issue to the United States other than there is a rip current risk all along the coastline and there could be some very minor beach erosion from the mid-Atlantic on up to the northeast, but nothing terribly serious. Uh, the rip current's the biggest problem. Us, uh, for us, a high pressure is the dominant weather feature, absolutely. And as GERD continues to pull away, we'll start to see this high perhaps sink a little bit further south, a little bit further to the west, and relax its grip a little over the state of Florida. Drier air aloft will be replaced with a little bit more moisture, and we will return to our typical thunderstorm chances of 40%, 50% as we head into the weekend. But for today and the next several days, it's dry out there, and we'll get a couple of showers building, but they are generally pushed toward the other coast. So we look for dry conditions with only limited shower chances, lots of sunshine, UV indexes high, and a very active tropics. One, two, three systems, three tropical waves that we monitor out in the open Atlantic. Each of them has potential to develop. The first two on forecast tracks, well, the first one will probably stay well south of Florida. The second one has forecast tracks that are a little more interesting and demand our attention. That has a wide spread in those forecast tracks down the line. So I advise you keep abreast of the forecast as you head into the weekend. Uh, of course, with our first alert forecasting system, we will let you know as soon as possible if there's any threat to the state of Florida, but currently there is not. Looking at a 30% chance of showers over the next several days in your first alert weather forecast calls for increasing rain chances as we head into next week.